finally putting up the shelf. We got the supplies from Home Depot the other day. Ignore the clothes in the back. This is where I throw my clean clothes when I have to fold them. So I just threw a sheet over the bed so it doesn't get on the bed when we are drilling into the wall. But I ended up getting these World Market brackets that I do have for downstairs, but this shelf is gonna look a little different because I'm not gonna stain the wood the same way. I got red oak wood from Home Depot. Oh, it's actually right here. This is the piece of wood that I am gonna put up. We are just gonna sand it. I am not going to stain it. I just like the light colors in here. And you can see here, it's a piece of red oak. Now to the drama. So you know the ficus Audrey that's giving me so much grief? It's currently in the bathroom right now. If you don't know the whole story behind this, it was a beautiful full plant. It was doing absolutely fine until um, it became like root bound. So I ended up repotting it. After I repotted it, it dropped all of its leaves and it made a comeback, started growing back. I found sweater mites on it today. Before when it was dropping leaves, I was, I was looking for pests. Couldn't find a single pest on it. I was of course looking for spider mites because I know the ficus varieties are kind of prone to that. Didn't find any pests on it until now. And it's like a lot later. Now after the comeback, it wants to die again. What made me wonder about it is like, this was a new leaf. And I'm like, why the heck is that new leaf dying? And then I found little webs. I honestly don't know where the little webs are anymore because I soaked this plant with my plant spray. So this has helped a lot. In the past, I have not been good with spraying down the ficus audrey. The leaves on this are velvety, so I don't want to really mess with it with my plant spray. So this is the one plant I have not been spraying with my plant spray because I do use it on every other plant I have pretty much. Oh, I think you can maybe see here. You see it right there? Probably not because it's white, but there's a tiny little spider mite in there. Yeah, so I just sprayed the entire plant down with the plant spray, I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and then I will go ahead and wipe down all the leaves and I'm gonna have to keep doing this every few days until hopefully it's all gone. Either that or the plant's just gonna die. Okay, so now the shelf is all secured. So I sanded down the shelf and I did not stain it, but my husband put it up for me. And then I put three pothos up here, so this is what it currently looks like. This one is the Marble Queen. This one is the Golden Pothos. And then that one is the Snow Queen Pothos. And I just did a, a, some quick rearranging and I temporarily have the, this is the Moonshine Sensibaria. So I put that down here and it's actually growing. That's some new growth right there. I just put that down here temporarily because I needed the pink pot that it was in. It's gonna look a lot better when it trails down a little bit further, but I'm not gonna let it go crazy because that would not be so fun for the guests. It's the next day and I inspected the ficus audrey after I soaked it yesterday in the oil and wiped it all down. I don't see any more spider mites at the moment, but I'm gonna keep doing that probably every couple days. I still have to fold the clothes, ignore that. Well, I'm gonna do more laundry today, but uh, I really love how this looks. Now, I need another plant to put up there. I took the plant that was here to put it on the shelf. It's like a week later and we actually just got back from Cabo and I reunited with my little Milo Schmilo. Hey baby. He's been extra tired. I checked on the ficus Audrey this morning and it looks like there's some new growth and I haven't seen any more spider mites. So the only thing I did before we left was I used that plant spray that I have a video on. I brought the ficus Audrey into the tub, sprayed it down like crazy amounts until it was soaking and then i waited then i wiped down every single leaf and i did that a second time before we left and i think it worked i will probably do it again tomorrow you're so tired 
I'm doing a lot of chores around the house today, but I am also doing some plant care. Not everything, but just the plants that I know need water. Right now I'm working on the Silver Sword Philodendron. It was starting to yellow, like some of the leaves at the top were starting to yellow, and I figured it was because it was root bound. Um, it's in semi-hydroponics, but it can also slow growth and it starts to yellow just like a plant that is in soil when it is really root bound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this up and repot it into the same pot, but probably trim some of the uh, roots. Oh yeah, and then it's the next day from my last clip. And I checked on the spider mites again on the Fic ficus audrey and everything looks good. I don't see any more. So I just filled up a bowl down here and I'm just going to loosen it up using the water I just filled it up with. It's actually gotten so leggy that I am going to chop some of them down. Like this one right here is getting kind of weird. If you can see here, and then it's so leggy. All of this is just plain stems. I'm gonna cut like here, and then it has all these nodes. Hopefully, it roots. Yeah, same thing with this. You can see here, and it's really leggy. So I'm going to chop down here. This one is leggy as well, but I'm going to leave some of them intact just in case those other ones don't root, you know, so like as insurance. What the heck was going on here? This one looks ridiculous as well. I'm just going to put it back together with the rooted ones, making sure that the nodes are actually going to hit the Lekka. All right, so got the pot here. I am going to do the usual toss Lekka at the bottom. Place everything in here, pushing all of the roots down. Putting my Lekka on top. What a good boy. These are like old sandwich bag ties that I am going to use to keep the stems together. Ta-da. And then I have the nutrient water in here already, so I'm just going to pop it in. Here is what it looks like. I'm going to... Fix it a little bit more. There we go. So, and then the spot is right there. So it's right next to the window. And I just hope everything roots. That's it. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Are you sleepy? Are you sleepy? He can't even keep his eyes open.